What's going on, ninjas? Tis I again. You can see I'm actually getting more of a beard than I was, but trust me, I'm not doing it for you guys, okay? So, here I am again, and I know that the last few times that I've been doing some videos have been kind of silly. I figured, why not, you know? It's just, you guys probably don't know me well. I figured I might as well introduce myself and let you guys see what a real goofball I can be, but I can be really, really, really terribly serious too, so I needed you to see that before you see my super serious side, okay? So today I want to talk about some things, and mainly templates, um, and not just templates, but the tools that are used on the templates and how the templates are worked, and this has been a conversation that's been going on in the clan for a while now, so figured I'd go ahead and just put up a video about what I have to say about it. So the first thing, all this contention about templates and so forth, I can tell you from experience that it doesn't matter what templates you have. Even if you had perfectly screen accurate templates, it really doesn't mean that you're going to be able to get the same look to the glove as was with the, the original glove. It's just the way it is, you know. It's all about the way that the templates are worked, not the templates themselves. So with that said, I think it's pretty important <clears throat> to talk about why this is so. <clears throat> so why is it that a same set of templates will not turn out the same way? Well, it's simple. Different builders. You know, I use a totally different tool set than most people. I can guarantee you because most of them are custom made. And, uh, as a matter of fact, all of my bending pieces that I bend my pieces with are all custom made on a lathe at a machine shop to exactly the size that I want. And that's going to make my work different simply because the size of the bar that I have is different. And it, I, there's just certain things. I have three different sizes that I use. And it's very important that they go through all those sequential stages through those three bars in order for it to look like what it comes out as when I get done. So if you don't use that method, it's just not going to bend the same. <clears throat> it's the same as with any other tools as well. You know, if you're using things like this, you're going to be able to tell. If you're using things like this, you're going to be able to tell. If you're using things like this, you're going to be able to tell. That's just the way that it works. If you're not using those things, you're just hammering these things out, you can tell that too. Uh, the time that goes into it can be seen, Every little detail of what goes into a glove can be seen by the viewer. So what the builder puts into the templates is really what comes out, not the templates themselves. So whether people are copying other templates or not, in the end, whether they can build a good glove is going to be whether they can build a good glove. And that's just the bottom line. And there are some people out there who have the best templates in the world and they still can't build a glove. There's been plenty of people who get free templates, try to build a glove, they can't do it. Why? Because they don't have the tools, they can't get the materials, all these other things that go into it. And to me, it's just really old, you know, this whole big thing about should we copy this or should we copy that. We've all copied other people's work. I mean, come on, guys. Who is the first builder? I mean, we all know that Lou is the one who really built the glove, and we've all copied his work. Every single one of us have. And if we had our chance, we would copy it down to 100%, and we would be fine with it. And I think that the biggest thing is, is that, you know, it's, it's just a silly thing, you know, to, to argue about such things. We're all creating replicas here, and therefore we're all replicating somebody else's work, somebody else's designs. Uh, that's just the way it is. But the, the beauty of it is, is it doesn't matter if you have the exact design. You know, it's really what you do with it, how you bend it, how you handle it, how you heat it, how you color it, how you do all these different things is what really makes the glove. And you can see every bit of it. I can see everything. I can see the time that goes into gloves. If you spend a lot of time, I can see it. If you just bang them out real quick, I can see that too. I can see everything about a glove, and so can the customers and people who are interested in gloves. Now, for me myself, I'm not too much of one to <clears throat> care about whether somebody's buying my gloves or not. If somebody wants one and I have one built, I'll sell it, but this is not why I'm doing it. I'm doing what I'm doing right now for me and mainly my, me and my wife. 
it's mainly me of course but uh, my wife is included too because she's into it and that's what I'm doing it for and that's it uh, anybody who wants to benefit from that that's great I might sell one here and there but not many because it takes a lot of time and I do put a lot of time into my gloves because I'm not out to sell them I'm doing it for myself so the bottom line here and the whole point is is that all this contention about templates and so forth who cares we all build gloves we all have our own flavor each one of us have our own unique style and our own things that we bring to this building craft and so, therefore, we should just all view each other's work as what it is. It's, it, we're, we're all builders here. We're all equals. We don't have to fight amongst each other about whether we're copying other people's work. Because, yes, we're copying other people's work. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way it is. Whether it be who we're copying other people's work. So, that's what we do, you know. Glove replicators build other gloves that have been built before. Screen glove is pretty much, you know, what it is. So, with that said, I hope that this helps to really, really nail the coffin in my opinion on this whole subject. I know I've spoke about it plenty of times, and people don't like me for it, but I really don't care. I just say the things that I feel, and you ninjas ought to know that by now. I've been on there plenty enough to make myself known that I speak my opinions the way that I see them. don't really care what anybody thinks about it. The people who like me, I like them back. The people who don't. I really don't care. It's just not going to be any concern to me. So anyway, with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this long, long rant that I've been on. And soon enough, I'll be showing something really nice, okay? I know I keep saying it, and trust me, uh, I will be. It's just going to be a matter of time here, getting a few things uh, situated and done. So... Keep an eye out on these videos, guys. I appreciate you listening to this long rant, and I hope that I've made some points clear, and I'll see you guys in the clan.